Hello and welcome. This is another continuation of my GDevelop visual novel tutorial series. You can watch the previous videos by clicking on the link in the description. I have also provided an example project file that you can download for yourself. Now, in this video, I'll teach you how to better show which character is talking in your game. Right now, the only indication we have on who's talking is the character name that appears on the name box. We can further highlight the current active talkers in a variety of ways. Two of the most often used ways are by using avatars and darkening the characters who aren't talking. This will hopefully make it easier for the players to understand the conversation in the visual novel. First, I'll show you the darken slash highlight method. You need to go to the event sheet. I've sorted all of my events in the previous video, so I hope you've done the same. Open the commands folder, then add another comment. Move it down, we'll name it Highlight Command. Add a new event below. Now let's go to the name command real quick. We want to copy Billy's name including all the BB code tags that we gave him. Go back to the new event, add condition, name txt, BB code text, equal to, paste Billy's names over here. If you don't use any tags, then you can just write his name normally. Add another condition, we only want this event to happen once, so search trigger once. Now add action, we're going to be using twin for this. Again, if you haven't checked my previous videos, you should, because we went through all the basics that you'll need to know. Click on the male object, twin object HSL color, the HSL here stands for the hue, saturation, and lightness. We're not going to change the hue and the saturation, so no need to worry about that. Identifier. Let's name this Lighten. Leave the hue empty. Saturation will be minus 1, as you can see here, minus 1 to ignore. Lightness will be at max, which is 100. Easing is linear. And I'll set the duration at 250, which in this case is a quarter of a second. Now, we'll copy and paste this event. Click on the first condition and change the sign to not equal to. Click on the action, change the lightness to 30, and we'll identify it as darken. Let's test this out now to see if it works. Everything seems to work just fine. Now you just gotta do the same but for the character Lily. Remember to add the twin behavior to her object first. Now that we're done with that, I'll show you the second method which is by using avatars. First, we'll add the avatar object into the project. Uh, you can download it again, link in the description. Add new object, sprite, name it avatars. Put the blank box on animation 0 and then Billy and Lily on the next ones. I'm going to put the avatars on the bottom left corner of the screen, so we'll need to adjust the UI a little bit here. First, you'll need to replace the dialog box with a different one and adjust the dialog TXT. The easiest way to do that is to add another animation on this sprite. Let's call the original big and the new one small. Go to the properties on the left here and change the animation to number 1. Now we can adjust everything else. Next, go to the event sheet, still on the commands group. We'll edit the comment for the name command. By the way, I know this might not seem important to some people, but if you're going to have a big project, 
then it's actually a good habit to organize everything as early in the development as you could. We'll call this name and avatar command. On this event here, when the billy command is called, we'll add another action. Click on the avatar's object. Change the animation. Set to. I put billy on animation number 1, so we'll put 1 on here. Next, you gotta do the same but for Lily. Alright, some of you might be wondering, what if I want to hide the avatar? Like, maybe the character that's talking is currently hidden away from the frame, or maybe it's the narrator talking. That's where the blank box comes in. Let's go all the way up here to our old friend in the dialog data, edit with yarn. I'll click on this passage here. We'll have to make a new command. Let's just call it blank for simplicity. Let's write later that day. And then on the other passage, we'll write the command again and the dialog will be the next day. Save the dialog data. And make another event on the name and avatar command. This time, whenever the blank command is called, we'll change it to the blank box, which is animation number 0. Now you can test the game. Oh wait, I forgot to change the name. Hold on. Copy this section. And just leave it empty like this. Try that again. Okay, as you can see, the name and avatar is empty now. The characters are also darkened because none of them are talking. Great! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can learn from this video. It's been more than a month since my last upload, so I wanted to thank you all for being patient with me. Some of you might know that GDevelop is going to have an update next week that adds a 3D capability into the engine, which is very exciting. So I was thinking, maybe I can utilize that feature into a visual novel project. Not sure yet though, so no promise.